Well, here we are, Linda. Here we are again. You and I, and we have this wonderful, wonderful selection of silks in front of us. Well, I'm excited to hear what you have to say about them, because oh. I sort of pulled these out of my drawers. Oh, wouldn't you imagine in, having uh, drawers like that? That would in, be wonderful. Uh, yes. Yeah. 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 So, so, yeah, many things. Yeah. So we've had silk in our cultures for so long. It's amazing how it's universal, how yes. it occurs everywhere. Um, silk in North America was a really important part yeah. of the early colonial times and still. So, well, they, when I was, I was yeah. born, you know, eons ago in Louisiana, yeah. in northern uh, Louisiana, yeah. Yeah. and my mother says that the boarding house she and my father lived in when I was born, the, their landlady kept silkworms. Ooh. And she hung them on the draperies in the dining room oh. and fed them mulberry. And she said, you'd just sit there having your dinner and you'd hear them <laughs> chewing. Yeah. I'm sure, I know you've traveled a lot in interesting As textile have you. places. Yes. yes. And one of the things I always remember is coming into a little village where the worms are, are eating yeah. and hearing it like dull traffic roar <laughs> and thinking, wait a minute. This place is run by donkeys, right. and all I hear is, is freeway traffic. <laughs> it's the sound of those little jaws, yeah, bunching up and down. I know. Yeah. And look what they make. And look what they make. I know. It's astonishing. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I know that sometimes the food that they eat really influences the color and the texture yeah. of, the, of the silk that they make. But uh, you have brought some really beautiful pieces for us to see. Well, I'm just endlessly fascinated yes, by this. Yes, me too. Yeah. 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 So, and this the one. The yeah. silk. Think of it. Yeah. Think of them yeah. spinning that stem with its little loop and yeah. hanging themselves and just, from a tree branch. Yeah. And how strong it is. Yeah. Because that penuncle, it means like foot, little foot. Yeah. To hold on to. This is so strong that I had a hard time breaking it even after I soaked it. And they do cut these off and save them and spin with them. Well, look. Yeah. That's what they yeah. did. Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? Well, I don't know. I'm not, yeah. I'm not yeah. sure yeah. I would yeah. agree about the beauty well, part. I, I, that, I, that stuff is... It's like leather. It is hard yeah. to knit. I oh. thought I would knit something oh, with it. Well, that yeah. wasn't a good no. idea. No. Mm -mm. But a strand of this in your weaving there you go. It would be stunning, yeah. just stunning. That would work. And, and this color is really very fast. Some colors don't, don't last really, really well. They fade mm. really quickly. They yeah. wash out, but this will last a long time. Well, that would be fun time. to weave with, but Wouldn't no it? fun yeah. to knit with. Yeah, yeah. Make lousy socks. Make lousy socks, indeed. <laughs> Big holes in your feet, yeah. Yeah, so it's very yeah. strong, very crunchy. It's got yeah. lots, so lots of what we call character. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. From Northern India. Northern India. Yeah. And um, it, when you look at this close up, these are so beautiful. They look like precious porcelain. They, do. they have this crackle glaze on it and yeah. an almost metallic, pearly uh, surface with this crackle. Yes. I just love them. Yeah. Yeah. They come in a variety of colors, but. I, I haven't yeah. seen that. I would yeah. love to see that. Is yeah. it depending on what they've eaten? I think so. I yeah. think. I, I'm sure that the food they eat influences what colors they get. But then you look at this. Yeah. Tell me yeah. about that. Well, it does, it does look like a piece of gold, doesn't it? It does. It's just beautiful, a beautiful, beautiful color. And the fiber itself, when it comes off, the color is even more intense than it is in the little uh, so, cocoons. So if you were going to spin that, you would de- I degum it. De -gum it and I give it a little boil with, yeah. yeah, and a little bit of soap mm -hmm. will help yeah. ease it out. But they're so beautiful well, as they, they are. are. Yeah. And you have they're that, lacy. Yeah, they they are. They look like art objects, don't they? They do. Yeah, yeah. they look like they've already been fully formed. So yeah. I thought maybe we should look at one that is woven with lots of beautiful wild silks in yeah. it. And this is yours. It is. So it was a gift from a it. special friend, and I'm not sure where it's from. 
but I can tell you that, or, okay, my, my friend and former and, and even pr present business partner, Marilyn Murphy, yes. who, yeah. uh, of Cloth Roads, yeah. uh, imported this. And oh. I don't know from where, but I think it's just stunning. It is, and it has a wonderful hand. Well, it's got some great textures yeah. happening. Yeah. It's, which, I, yeah, I don't know what kind of, I don't know. There's some I of them. Not. I mean, it's, some of them are from the weave structure, but most of them are from the cocoon itself. And yeah. the colors are amazing, just yeah. amazing. Rich. Yeah, rich, and, rich. and the, the uh, warp mm. seems to be very refined and Mm -hmm. Even. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure how what how many Pretty ply, strong. but uh, yeah. oh, and then the weft is. Uh, They're singles. Oh wow! Two ply, two ply, two ply. Okay. Or at least the one that I have is. It's yeah. just two ply as yeah. well. Yeah. But then the the wefts have all this gorgeous texture. In yeah. It. yeah, and the the weft is all I think just real cocoon. Almost it doesn't. Some of it doesn't look like it. Some of it looks like it has twist in it. And some of it looks like it's just laid in there. But it's all yeah. strong. Yeah, it's all strong. Yeah, oh, I love this piece. Yeah, it's just lovely. Yeah. Mm. And lightweight. Mm -hmm. And I, I think the as I said before that the rich, the var variegation in the color, is coming uh, from using the wild cocoon. Yeah. Just lovely piece. Yeah. <sighs> lucky us. <laughs> Aren't we though? Lucky, lucky, lucky. Yeah, to all see these such great beautiful textiles things. just come our way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Incredible. Yeah. Humans are so clever. They uh, are they, so Aren't we though? Clever. Except yeah. when we're not. <laughs> oh, except, yeah, well, that's right. Yeah. They should all yeah. spin. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Better. Well, yeah. that, that was an idea once. It was, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Who knows? Yeah. We may persevere. So, yeah. what would we you like to show here. us next? Well, as long as we're in that part of the well, as long as we're in that part of the world, I'd like to show oh, some yeah. of these yeah. these textiles from Laos. Yeah, these are from northeastern Lao Huapan Province, where every little village you go into, there are silkworms being raised on. Oh. A, open decks and there are looms underneath the stilt houses mm -hmm. and it's it's just stunningly beautiful mm. and the fabrics so all of this oh. all of this was um, you know spun and dyed right there in that place oh. all with natural dyes and oh. they're master Natural dyers, Let's have a but look you know, at look this. what they do. Look at this. Oh, you know, it's Is that so not just cute? Yes, whimsical. Definitely yeah. whimsical on this incredible, yeah. ornate, exotic, yeah, and, and, and then material. This little, just cut up your little leftover cocoons and yeah. Yeah. tie them on. Yeah. I think that is yeah. truly these are charming. The, these are the top of the cocoon. Yeah. How can you tell? Ah, uh, because I've taken them apart. Oh. Not that one, but I've taken yeah. them apart because yeah. I didn't know how it worked. Yeah. And they clip it to get the worm out sometimes. Yeah. It w not every place that real silk does that. But I couldn't understand why the cocoons had that hole in it. Yeah. I think they must do it just to get the cocoon out. I don't know. These, yeah. these textiles, when I was there watching, they were reeling. Yeah. And then they'd just reel it down to the last nub, and then yeah. there would be the little the little guy in there and yeah. then we would eat them. Oh, interesting. They're supposed to be really good for you. Um, they are kind of tasty, actually. They Ooh. taste like sweet corn. Really? Yeah, when they're fresh. Oh. I mean, you know. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that'd be interesting. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. We'll, we'll have to have a side dish. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can buy them in, you can buy them canned in some parts That's of the right. world. I, I visit with Michael Cook now and then. Uh -huh. and he always has at least one can of canned silkworms. Okay, um, yeah. Yeah. bar snacks. Yeah, right. bar snacks. But they, he also has the ones that are like um, gel, gelatinous. 
Mm -hmm. I, that doesn't I sound enjoyable. Do that. <laughs> yeah, no. no. But he has a little, like you say, bar snacks. Yeah. 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 But it's supposed to be really good for you. And they're really good for me know. just to look at and pat. Yeah. This, uh, this is kind of interesting because you see some of these are yellow and some are yeah. white, which yeah. is exactly yeah. what yeah. the silks they raise, the cocoons, yeah. are some yellow and some white, and I don't know why. Yeah. I mean, they can be yeah. yellow and white on, in the same batch. Y yes. Yeah. Yeah, in the same batch, yeah. But have a look at how beautiful this is. Yeah. And how intricate the pattern is. Yeah. Oh, it takes my breath away. And has a wonderful mm -hmm. feel. And you know it's going to be used for work, for wear. They're, mm -hmm. they're not making it just to put it on the wall. And it's so substantial yeah. um, that you know it's going to last a long time. Well, you'd want it to. Time. I mean, yeah. I bet people, people in that area wear their traditional clothes yeah. all the time, yeah. especially their skirts, which are also... Yeah. This kind same of patterning, of same pattern. fabric, yeah. same patterning. Sometimes yeah. they weave the top part in yeah. cotton and then silk for the borders. Oh, but yeah, beautiful. this is another, this is an older piece. Yes. I love that from piece. A friend. Isn't that lovely? Yes, Doesn't I it feel do. good? Yeah, and it has that same, look at this, the same, same little, clever. little beautiful fringe on the end. Mm -hmm. uh, but I don't know if she died. I mean, she I had to have died. She might, must have died these just by looking at Maybe, them. Maybe, yeah. They'd be really easy and lovely to dye. Mm -hmm. And the, the little, it's all hand stitched, this little yeah. decorative. And with little bits of wild silk, some spun and some not. Yeah. Let's have a look at the pattern on this. Oh, it's I think really this is nice. just yeah. mind blowingly beautiful. Yeah. And an interesting color pla palette, don't you see? Can you see? Oh, no, nope. you, know, you want to see the other side. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's over dyed. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. would make sense to get the the yeah. harmony of the hue in there, like it is. Yeah, yeah, that's a beautiful piece. Beautiful, beautiful piece. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and in incredible shape. Yeah. Yeah. Just like well, I mean, you yeah. know, it's not going to wear out. It's nope, not in our yeah. Mm. Yeah, it was spun and woven and mm. dyed by a woman named Poot, who gave me a ride on her little motorcycle. Oh, that's so <laughs> neat. Yeah, that's she great. Was, she, I, I yeah. loved her. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a great. It's a beautiful yeah. piece. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And. And then these, this is, um, this is from China. Silk embroidery on, I don't know what, cotton oh, yeah, or I hemp. don't know either, or, or, or one of the, one of those one of vast, the vast fibers. Yeah, vast fibers. Yeah, yeah. But this elegant embroidery yes. on there. Yeah. yeah, my son bought these in oh. uh, Yunnan province. Wow. Isn't that lovely? Yeah. Mm. Isn't that lovely? So that kind of all over solid yeah. satin stitch. Yeah. So precisely counted. And the silk is so fine. I mean, it's just yeah. incredibly yeah. fine. So the, the surface just you can hardly see the individual threads. Yes, from a distance, it looks like a really good block print. It does. Yeah. Yeah. But when you see it up close, look at that, and, and the it, color differences in there yeah. is beautiful. And it just floors me that that they yeah. do this. That, yeah. You know, these yeah. are not idle women. Yeah, it's not like they don't have other things to exactly. do. Exactly. Yeah. 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 But yeah, and this mm -hmm. is for beauty's sake that they've done it, exactly. not for utilitarian work. Yeah. It's not going to keep you warmer. It's not yeah. going to keep the uh, fiber. And it's interesting, this is two bands that have been joined so perfectly that you can't see the join. I you hadn't can, even realized yeah, that. I just, don't, I'm not sure I ever looked at the back of it. Yeah, I looked at it and it's, uh, it's perfect. It's mm -hmm. just perfect. You can see where they joined it right through there. Hmm. Mm -hmm. And I don't think this one is it's like that Well, at it's all. hard no. to say because it has a backing on it. But oh. no, look, it, it does. It has oh, a seam. Oh, yes, there it is. There huh. it is. Yeah. I wonder why. Yeah. 
because they make these, mm -hmm. they make these, these is, this is the traditional band for Chinese clothing, for important clothing, is mm -hmm. this width. Mm -hmm. And so all their equipment is done to do that. And then when it, we're, when I'm pretty sure that what happens is when the bands and the cloth start to wear a little bit here and there, mm -hmm. that they are not going to waste one piece. And so they've been able to match this up so exquisitely that I had to look at it three or four times before I saw yeah. that it was a join. Yeah. And I would have never noticed the join in there. Yeah. But this is, I mean, can you just imagine how much work went into this? No. No. Actually not. No, <laughs> no I really can't. I can't. Because yeah. I, yeah. 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 I just can't. It's not my craft. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And like, so, give me a loom. <laughs> that's right. But it is lovely to see the revival of interest in embroidery. It is. Isn't that? And yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I have more and more students coming to look at how to spin silk for embroidery. Mm -hmm. And that's how I made my first living was selling embroidery silk. Really? Because you couldn't I buy it. I didn't know that. Yeah. Nature dyed embroidery silk. Wow. Yeah. For quite a lot. Little skeins. Yeah. It was good, and uh, uh, I still I'm nothing. This is fine. I just want to point out. Well, who would who yeah, would no, want it? No. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. This is a beautiful piece. Yeah. The proper tapes. Yeah. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Treasures. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One of the things, if you have all, the, you know, for old embroideries like this. We store them rolled because I know. it's better than folded. Mm -hmm. uh, we just have them folded now. I just want to make sure yeah, that I know. if people are out there, yeah, don't do don't, don't do, this. do this. Yeah, don't do this. Yeah, <laughs> just get a, a a roller, a roller, you know. and mm -hmm. just roll them up with some um, tissue, tissue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some good quality tissue, and they'll last forever and ever. Yeah, yeah. So the the other thing that I pulled out that means quite a lot to me, Yes, is this piece of uh, what's called Maltese lace, from traditionally from Malta. And it's silk, and it's, uh, oh, it's stunning. bobbin lace, and it's got some little problems, but not much. Yes. And my mother bought it in, when she went on a trip to France in about 1930. And then she wore it as a headpiece when she got married, oh, and so did I. Oh, lovely! So you know, it means quite a bit. But you know, so this is European. These are these are all more exotic from places yeah. that are more exotic to us. Yeah. But this is. Uh, it's a very elegant. Yeah, she tried to replicate some up in here because it was damaged, and yeah. she I don't know what kind of thread she used, but it's not silk. Yeah, but uh, you know the sheen of it and yeah. uh, that ivory yes. color, I think is. And the number mm -hmm. of stitches, the different types of stitches, are beautiful. Yeah, like the little leaves in there oh, are I know. just I exquisite. Know. No, they uh, look like little leaves. They do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. looks. Yeah, my bobbin lace just yeah. floors me. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All those little crossings. Yeah. Yeah. So all oh. the all the th I mean, this is just the tip of the iceberg of what yeah. silk can be. Yeah, it is indeed. Yeah. Especially when you think about things like, with eye surgery, um, we often have silk thread used in our eyes if you're Do allergic. We? Mm -hmm. They are, yeah. Hmm. And I'm allergic to uh, whatever it is that they normally stitch you up with, and that's how I got stitched up. Silk thread. I did yeah. not know that. Yeah, hmm. and it just seems so bizarre, <laughs> being uh, knowing about them as insects and mm -hmm. what their life cycle. And here I mm -hmm. was benefiting a great deal from uh, their thread. Yeah. Well, that's good to know. Yeah, yeah. Huh. So it's not just for beauty's sake. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. so lovely. I like that so much. It's so intricate. Yeah, and here's one more, which is talk about mysterious. Yes. Just check it out, Judith. Just look at that. Oh, that is lovely, lovely, lovely. So mm -hmm. can you explain how this was, was made? 
and where it comes from. Oh, I'll bet you know. Well, it's, I do know a bit it's about from it. from India. Yeah, isn't it just And lovely? each of these little red dots was tied by a woman with very skilled <laughs> fingers funny. in, you know, a pretty elaborate pattern. Yeah, look at and that. And then the whole, yeah, and then the whole thing was thrown in the dye pot and it yeah. shrank up and, yeah. and, and then collapsed. the little ties got taken off and you've got a yeah. whole remarkable, I mean, this, this, yeah. just the feel of that. I mean, think about that, that silk can retain the that, shape yeah, that it, to that degree. It, and that it can take the heat and that tight little knot yeah. that they tie and still uh, be perfectly long-lasting. Silk is amazing. Yeah, I haven't counted the little knots on oh this. My gosh, I would be no. almost yeah. afraid to, but it, yeah. it would be interesting to know. Yeah. Yeah. And I've watched women do this work, and they yeah. can be incredibly speedy, but still, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yes, exactly. They do all the hard work, and then the men yeah. take it to market. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. beautiful. And I love the red and the black. I, I do, too. It looks really rich. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So if you look at that, look at how much it stretches, expands, hmm. and yeah. collapses right back in. And there's no elastic in there. There's no uh, special stitching. It's just how the, the little clumps were tied really, really tight. And then when it went in the hot water, it set that little twist. However, if it went back in the hot water, it would yeah. all go away. It would all go away <laughs> if it went back in the hot water again. Yeah. So you yeah. don't dribble on it. Yeah, that's right. Be careful. Yeah. But such a beautiful piece. Mm -hmm. Just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it has the right side. This is the right side. And the wrong side is... I like the wrong side. I like the side. wrong side, too. I think mm -hmm. it looks really mysterious. But of course, mm -hmm. if you're using it, you will see both sides and exactly. you know, how you tie it. But yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that's a beautiful piece. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Linda. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for sharing those with us. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Wonderful.